I get a lot of questions about like, Gary, that's fine and dandy, but my mom is terminally ill and she's gonna be gone in less than two years for sure and you can't tell me patience, I have to make it before she goes. And I say to that person, this is incredibly challenging, I'm so sorry, this is the worst, fuck, I'm devastated, but you being impatient and taking shortcuts is not gonna create the thing you want anyway. I'm giving you the answer to the following. As their health deteriorates, so what do you, like, talk it through logically for me. Building anything meaningful takes time. So what are you gonna do differently? Like, 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 what's gonna happen? You think there's a shortcut? You think I'm gonna tell you some trick? You think I'm gonna give you a, a tidbit that, like, it's just not how it fucking works. It's just like, you know, I, I, like, I know you talk about, you know, you gave up your 20s to like live out your dreams and stuff like that. Like, I've done, I've done the same. I don't, no, you haven't. I don't, I don't, no, you I haven't. <laughs> you haven't. No, but I, I've given up a lot, right? Like, I've what? Up. But you didn't give up. You just said I've given up my 20s or 22. You haven't started. Okay. I, but, like I don't go out, I don't go out, I don't lean into that That's stuff. Good. You know, I lean into doing things that I enjoy rather than like going for things that have instant gratification, well, right? Well, hold on, you just said you lean into things that you enjoy. Like that make me happy. Well then, you didn't give up shit. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like you're being selfish. You're giving up going out, things like that. But you don't like that anyway, you like this more. <laughs> so what the fuck did you give up? I guess that's true. Okay, so thank you. I guess that's true, I guess that's true. But, but this, but I want to help you here. This is why we're doing this. Yeah. You didn't give it up. Yeah. So keep going. Yeah. So I guess just for me, like I watch your content, good, and I actually act on it. Okay. Know, patience, gratitude, execution, all the time. How do we overcome this issue of patience when there's like you know things that just can't be changed? Do you recommend taking shortcuts? Do you recommend taking a faster route? Like, do you, you watch my content and think I'm going to tell you to take a shortcut? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the only question I have. What, what's the shortcut? Talk this through, because it's very fascinating to me. Yeah. Talk me through this shortcut. Like, shortcut. Like, what, what are you gonna do? what's the business? Well, my dad's business? Yeah. He's a, show, he's a chauffeur business. Okay, yeah. so what shortcut are you gonna take to make this chauffeur business 10 times bigger to make it before their health deteriorates? Clickbait stuff. <laughs> I'll be honest, like. What's that? Clickbait stuff. So do that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. What's clickbait stuff? I don't know, like, um, I don't know, like, think shady marketing strats, you know? That, like what? I, I can't think of them on the spot because I try to be genuine when I market. But like, what, what, what do you think's gonna happen? What, what's shady? You're not doing a fucking click funnel and a mastermind. <laughs> true, true. So what's shady? What are you gonna like, trick someone to take the fucking cab? <laughs> like, what are you gonna? knock on people's door and throw them in the car and drive and then tell them they owe you 30 bucks. What the fuck are you talking about? Why I'm doing this with you is you're talking philosophy. The biggest issue that so many people have is they talk about things in theory versus reality. If you just listen to this conference, this is what I'm doing this for everyone here. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, you just- I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, but like, you know, which is amazing. Like, I, look, I, you're coming from a good place. You'd like this for them, but like, I just also don't think you have an answer to the shortcut. Right. So you have no other choice. Yeah. So what are you gonna do when you start for your dad's business? What's the plan? Um, well, he's, he's had it for a while, and honestly, I love you, dad, but um, it hasn't been profitable for a okay. while. Yep. So um, I'm relaunching it. Um, you know, I'm gonna be doing the advertising for it. I'm gonna try to manage his finances, and I really wanna just like, his business, you know? Well, like, ju- just by stopping, just by cutting costs yeah. and making it not not profitable, yeah. you've already advanced it dramatically. That's right, yeah. That's, that's not a shortcut. Yeah. That's working a PL properly. Thank you, Gary. You're welcome. And um, just one more thing. You said if you don't ask, you'll never know. So that's right. would I ever be able to get you on my podcast, which is about finding gratitude and happiness? You know, one thing that I said up there is I'm working more on my candor. And so. You can be honest. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, I'm working on it too. Like, no bullshit. Years ago, 10 years ago, I would sit here and be like, yes, and everybody would clap, and then, like, there'd be an 80% chance I wouldn't do it. Right? And I don't want to be that person. The answer is maybe. Okay. If you email me, and in the title, put, I was the kid that was looking for the shortcut. (laughs) You know, maybe we'll sneak it in. What are some things that you do specifically 
um, in practice with your children to instill these things? I, I do very similar things. So what he's referring to for the people that are really deep in my content, I talk about these singular moments where I got positive reinforcement. Uh, my mom, the thing I think a lot about with parenting is like if you tell your kids it's all about straight A's, they get formed into like believing and listening to the system and they just become workers or listen blindly or if you over praise your children their whole lives for being beautiful, they become insecure as they get older because their validation sits in their looks or their athletic ability or their school. So I think a big thing for all leaders here, whether for parents or your employees, is what are you praising and validating? And so for me, I follow a very similar blueprint. You know, with my, with my son, he's got a lot of empathy. He's got a lot of feelings towards his friends. You know, um, I think about this one game he had in baseball where he hit a line drive and it hit the coach in the chest. He fucking nailed, it was a great hit. Hit the book, and instead of running to the base, he stopped and went and checked on the coach. And I continued to bring that up to him literally every other week that he had more compassion to see if the coach was good than his own selfish needs or excitement to succeed in the sport he was playing. With my, with my daughter, I think about things about like when I see that she's not putting too much pressure on herself, you're basically watching and you're thinking about what validation systems you can do on things that are gonna benefit them based on their personalities. Um, back to the reverse engineering we talked about earlier. So, you know, I, look, I think, I think if you love yourself and you're good to other people, your life will always be good. There's unlimited people on earth who are deeply happy making $46,000 a year in annual income. They exist at scale. And so I think we've put so much time and effort into so many other things and you know, for me, I'm spending all my time trying to make sure that they're just happy, actually. And it starts with you know, reinforcing nice behavior, either for others, think about the first story I told you, or to oneself, think about the second story. You know, for me, if I'm thinking about creating a curriculum, the concept of information memorization is ludicrous. Asking kids to memorize stuff for tests is silly when we have technology where it is today. For me, I would try to build a school that was building self-esteem and was teaching kids how to interact and was teaching kids practical things like real rules of society, like competition and merit, how to pay your taxes, like what life insurance means. It would be completely based on common sense and kindness. Of course, like when people are like, no Gary, you don't get it. You have to teach core skills. I'm like, do you know how many people are homeschooled and learn their own home? Like you can teach, like core skills are pick up Like they're there, they're always there. Like, yeah, okay, you'll teach math. But like, it, I just think that we don't think about positioning people for real life. It's all academia for the sake of academia. Yeah, we have this cool opportunity to personalize the learning, right? So like, is there a class? Is there a, something you'd love to go back and do differently? All, all of it, I fucking hated school. Yeah. You know, like, like the fact that I wasn't taught like about marketing or, or like, you know, proper investing or just normal shit, like, it just, it's crazy. We teach no life skills. And, and to the parents that are worried about privacy of AI data, do you think that's a thing that we're, we're just gonna shift our mindset around that? Every single person in this room's privacy and data has been compromised already. It has. It's, listen, nobody wants their da data or privacy compromised, but it's already happened. Like, every government's been hacked, every organization, all your banks have been hacked, like it's all there. I know what you're doing tonight.